Hello, my name is Markman Williams. I'm professor of psychology at the University of Leeds. I'm a researcher who is interested in how children interact with the world. One of the really important things that we have to consider is how children perceive the world. What I want to talk about today is perception. And I want us to ask the question, what is perception? Well, if you're answering an essay or a question, what I'd really recommend you do is get hold of a dictionary and get a nice definition of the subject you're interested in. So let's think about a nice definition of perception. So one useful definition of perception is that perception is the process by which an organism detects and interprets information from the external world by means of the sensory receptors. So key within that definition is the idea of information. Perception is the process by which we obtain information about the world, and particularly about our relationship with the world. Also within that definition is the idea that we have receptors, so that humans possess the receptors that allow us to detect and interpret information. So I'd like us just to think about some of those different receptors and the different systems which are available to allow us to detect and interpret information. So let's just think about some of the perceptual systems. So when we're thinking about perceptual systems, we need to start thinking about the idea of modality. Modality defines a class of stimulus determined by the type of stimulus energy which is transmitted and the specialised sense receptors that the human or organism possesses that allows them to detect and interpret that stimulus energy. And when we think about the receptors, the central pathways, and the target areas in the brain, then we start defining a perceptual system. So humans possess a number of perceptual systems, a number of systems which consist of receptors that allow us to detect and interpret information, then a number of pathways which allow that information to be transmitted through the body, and then a number of target areas in the brain which help us again detect and interpret the information. So there are a number of different modalities, and those different modalities have different sense receptors. And those different sense receptors are required in order to allow us to get as much information as we can about the world and about our relationship within the world. 